So talk about this as compared to your peers in this facility, what allows you to do? Well, I, I've been in a lot of brigade headquarters. I've never seen one this nice. Uh, it is purpose-built for what the Maneuver Enhancement Brigade does. Uh, it has the training facilities they need to do their jobs. So when they come in on a drill weekend, they can literally plug in and go to work. Uh, in our old facility, you would have to set everything up, tear everything down after a drill. Uh, now they can leave it set up in a state-of-the-art training facility, and when they come in here on weekends, they get right to work. When you talk about that brigade enhancement, what are they leaving here well-trained to do? What's typical of the kind of things they'd be called on to do? Well, they, uh, they plug right into division and cores. They secure all the areas uh, uh, from the battle line back. Uh, they'll have infantry, MPs, uh, chemical, transportation, uh, engineers, all these types of units working for them and their job is to make sure that that area is secure so that the maneuver forces up front can do what they need to do. So that's globally in the, in the war on terror, that's a, a firefight in Medora or a flood fight anywhere it happens? Well, that's the other thing for a flood fight. We have a 24-7 uh, operations center ready to go anytime we need it here in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, and on top of that, it, it's, it's not the facility that's as important as the soldiers and the training they receive and their commitment to the mission that gets things done. Uh, I know you can't tell us a lot, but there's a lot of things obviously happening here that are very instrumental in a new way of fighting the global war on terror. Give us a sense of um, the facilities of the Air Guard, the National Guard, and how that's being fought here. Well, it's just uh, our ability to do what we need to do in wartime right here in Fargo, North Dakota. It's so important to make sure that we're ready to go anytime. As you know, at our facility uh, with the Happy Hooligans, they literally uh, fight the fight every day. Uh, but for the Maneuver Enhancement Brigade here at this new facility, uh, they got to be ready to go. And those time frames for when we need them out the door, ready to support division and corps headquarters, uh, get shorter every day, every year. Uh, so the ability to train here uh, in the limited time they have to get that done is so crucial. And, and in this day and age where everyone's telecommunity and everything's virtual, we can't do that. We need bricks and mortar where we can gather people uh, with the right skill sets to work together as a team to get things done. And this facility is going to allow us to do that. On 9-11, the Happy Hooligans famously defended the nation's capital. They continue to do that yeah. at this very hour. Um, uh, obviously, you can't open up uh, a newspaper, watch an evening newscast, listen to what's happening right now and not think that uh, we're going to have additional fights on our hands. How's the team taking that? Well, it, I've been telling the team and I see heads nodding. We uh, took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the state of North Dakota. Uh, we follow our lawful orders. We're given a mission. We do the mission to the best of our ability. Uh, we're not involved in the political decision making. We take our orders. Uh, we defend the Constitution. We move out. Uh, so we're, you know, right now with what's going on in Afghanistan, I'm encouraging everybody to check in with their battle buddies and the wingmen. Uh, some may be uh, taking it tougher than others, uh, but at the end of the day, we swore an oath, and we've got to follow through on that oath. Thanks, General. Thank you.